soul sisters and welcome to another edition of the Awakened Divine Feminine podcast where you will be realigning yourself with your cyclical nature, reawakening your intuition and stepping into the woman you were born to be. Now I am Evening Star Nightwalker and today we are talking about Beltane. Beltane is one of my favourite times of year. Beltane's that time, it's a solar festival. And if you don't know much about Beltane, Beltane is that midpoint between the winter, sorry, between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. And it's actually the time of year here in the Southern Hemisphere that our children get dressed up and think it's Halloween. But it is not Halloween. So, so I can never say that word very well. So when is Halloween and it is actually in May in the Northern Hemisphere. And that is the time where, you know, the veils between the worlds are the thinnest and basically you can go deeper into meditation and access your ancestors and your guides a little easier and all of that sort of stuff. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about Beltane and Beltane is the fertility festival. Beltane is where originally when we would celebrate Beltane, what would happen is it's the reunion of the masculine and feminine. It is the celebration of fertility in that sort of pagan time where the king would be reconnected with the goddess and they would actually make love. And often in these festivals, it was the time where many people, there wasn't such thing really as monogamous marriage back then. And so this was the kind of free-for-all where you would go out and make love in the forest. And if a baby was conceived at this time of year, um, they this baby was said to be a child of the goddess. And this kind of passionate, beautiful, potent energy is exactly the energy that is available to us at Beltane. Because you see, All of these solar festivals, whether it be the winter solstice, the summer solstice, the equinoxes, or the ones that sit in between. So there's eight solar festivals per year. And I'll do another podcast in the next couple of weeks over those solar festivals so we can kind of dive into each of them a little bit more so that you can start to ride this wave of energy that is available to us. Because no matter whether you know about these solar festivals or not, the energy of these festivals is happening in our seasons, in our environment. And as you are part of this environment, you are part of the earth. This cyclical nature is happening both within you and around you. So when you come into alignment with it, you're going to be able to ride those waves and start to feel and flow with this energy so that you can go deeper into your own, you know, alignment with your truth, into your own ability to not be pushed over the edge hormonally or emotionally, that ability to be able to actually know yourself well enough to know that you're not the only one that feels batshit crazy at the moment. Everyone's feeling batshit crazy at the moment because not only are we in Beltane portal, we are at... We are in the middle of an eclipse season. We Today I'm doing this on the 1st of November in Australia. So we're in the middle of an eclipse season. Uh, we're in Scorpio season and I have a Scorpio moon. And anyone who has Scorpio in their chart, um, like me, uh, they will tell you that we're watery and we're emotional and there is a lot of depth to what this Scorpio energy brings. But we also have like all of that happening at the same time as Beltane, right in between two eclipses. The traditional date of Beltane is the, um, what day are we? October 31st. What am I trying to do in my head? Um, is October 31st. So that sort of day where we think Halloween should be celebrated. But the tradition that's the traditional kind of traditional date. But we actually have an astrological date. The equinoxes are at zero, zero degrees of, I hope I get this right, Libra and Aries. But our midway point between the equinox and the solstice, this Beltane festival falls at 12 degrees of Scorpio every year. And as we sit in this 12 degrees of Scorpio, we're sitting in this ecliptical, because the the south node's in Scorpio at the moment, we're kind of sitting in this karmic, we're sitting in this 
beautiful, beautiful energy that's drawing you inward to self, but at the same time pushing you out. It's got this kind of push-pull energy. And if you don't ride this wave, you may feel like you have been thrown off a cliff and run over by whatever it is that's going to run over you. So to be able to ride this wave of Beltane, sort of think of the energy here as, you know, when we've like the new moon at the winter solstice, in winter we have planted a beautiful seed that is going to bear us fruit and it's going to grow. And this growth cycle around the solar festivals, festivals, that's a new word, around the solar festivals is as we kind of move around, we've got in bulk, then we've got, you know, the other solar festivals between winter solstice and now to Beltane. So in bulk and Yosta it is. And in this solar festival of Beltane, we're actually as I said, right between spring and summer, it's the peak of spring, we're looking at what is it that is going to bear us fruit? Asking yourself, how can you best nurture yourself so that your life and your being will bear fruit for you? And do it. This is energy. This is growing energy. This is the, we're coming into summer. We're coming into the fullness. We're coming into more action, more energy. So putting that energy into play and asking yourself, if you're not doing it, why aren't you doing it? Where is your life leading you right now? And can you ride this wave of Beltane? I'm running a beautiful full moon Uh, live sacred circle on the 8th of November. You can find it in my Instagram Instagram bio, but also you'll find it down below in the show notes. If you'd like to join me live, you can do so for free. That's open to everyone. Sorry, guys, this is for women only. And we're going to explore a little bit of the Beltane Taurian full moon energy. Beltane is also that time of year where traditionally young men and women were honoured and celebrated for that rite of passage that took them from childhood or young adult into old, not old adult, but fertile adult, that adult that was going to couple and come together with another and create sacred union. And this whole Beltane festival, the meeting of the king and the goddess would happen on the night of the October 31st or the traditional, that's the traditional date, but the astrological data would happen then and what would then happen the day after was and why in America it's called May Day was the day the 1st of May back then or 1st of November for us here in the southern hemisphere they would put up the maypole and the children would play and there'd be songs and laughter and dancing and the community would come together and help each other to celebrate the differences between the role of the masculine and the role of the feminine. There were women's circles, there were men's circles. And what would happen with our young people at this time is the young women would be with the the women and they would go through their initiation process. They would be able to have then the men, the young men with the men and go through their initiation ceremony. And then as we jump over the bonfire and, you know, that's kind of that rite of passage where you jump from one place to another or move from one space to another and life becomes different. When they then celebrated and danced and decorated the maypole, the young and old, the masculine and feminine were all woven together in this beautiful magic where the ceremony was able to welcome back in these young folk who had been through their rite of passage as different people, as humans that are no longer little kids, as humans that are, you know, ready to meet their mate, to, to, to get into sacred union, to, to fulfill their role within that masculine and feminine dance. And the maypole would represent the phallus as the pole and the, the ribbons and the maidens traditionally would dance around the pole, decorating that pole. This unity of masculine and feminine, we've kind of 
Yes, Beltane was very much in traditions about man and woman, but in our day and in our day and age, into society today, we're seeing this beautiful understanding. And even with my my business, Awaken Divine Feminine, yes, I work with women, but I'm not about just looking at feminine as in the woman, the feminine, we do so much work in my coaching and my group programs around the dance of the masculine and feminine within ourselves. And so many women in today's society are switched into their masculine so much with that goal orientated structure, pushing, routine and doing where the feminine, it's the nurturing, it's the being, it's the you know, the fertile, emotional, gorgeous, kind of soft, subtle, gentle nature of the feminine. And so when we have the masculine and feminine dancing together, it's like this, the way that I see it in my mind is like a beautiful, wild river. And in this wild river, you have these beautiful, soft banks. And those banks that are holding the water are the masculine. This masculine creates this place in which the feminine can be held in her raw wildness so that she can grow, so that she can slow down when she needs to, so she can rage when she needs to. But when we have this beautiful, flexible nature of the masculine and feminine dancing together, we have this beautiful presence within ourselves of this harmony, this knowing of self and this choice of when we actually need to or want to be or desire to be in our feminine and when we choose to want to be or desire to be in our masculine. So when you are moving through this Beltane Festival this year, you could make a beautiful Beltane altar, something that represents what it was like for you to move from child to woman, what it was like for you to celebrate your fertility, whether that be, you know, the creation of babies, whether it be the creation of businesses, whether it be the creation of art and craft or the creation of yourself. This altar is the peak of spring. It's where the flowers become pollinated for the fruits to be able to become manifest. So, I suggest that there is an ability to light a candle to feel into those fruits of your life right now that are, you know, coming into life and what it is that you need to do to pollinate that fruit. What is it that you can do in your life right now to be in this Beltane energy and to symbolize and to represent this dance of the masculine and feminine within you and also maybe within sacred union? maybe write a love letter to yourself. That is a beautiful way to celebrate the lover energy of this time of year. Get yourself then a beautiful candle and a warm bath so that you can honor yourself as woman. And maybe even as a suggestion, you could step into this bath as the maiden and come out the woman. You know, it's the world is your oyster and you can do anything you want with it. So use this Beltane energy and lean in. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Beltane energy and how you're going to be celebrating it. And I will see you when I see you where I see you. Bye for now. Mwah.